Denim is a strong twill fabric that is made out of cotton and dyed blue with indigo dye. Denim is the fabric used for the very popular piece of clothing, the blue jeans. Jeans have been stylish for many years. 400 million pairs of denim jeans are sold every year. The worldwide market value for denim is $40 billion. Levi Strauss introduced denim trousers to the United States in the mid-19th century. Strauss imported denim fabric from France during the California Gold Rush in 1853. The denim trousers were made of strong, sturdy fabric and used as work clothes. After blue jeans were introduced as work clothes, they expanded to become stylish. The infamous blue jeans grew in popularity among teenagers in the 1950s with the greaser subculture. In the 1960s, denim was popular with the hippie subculture. Next, the 70s and 80s youth subcultures of punk rock and heavy metal were very popular with denim. In today's world, denim is still a very popular clothing item and is very fashionable. The various types of fits denim jeans have to offer give everyone the ability, no matter size or shape, to wear denim. How are jeans made? The two main components that make denim are cotton and indigo dye. Cotton? Like this? The cotton in denim is naturally made. Although cotton grows naturally, it has become genetically modified. Genetically modified cotton has been made to withstand pesticides. The cellulose in cotton is a polymer of glucose and grown by special plants. Glucose molecules can attach to each other in many ways by different types of bonds. In cotton, glucose molecules are arranged so that the polymer is the most extended form possible. Each glucose unit has three OH groups, hydroxyls, that can hydrogen bond to adjacent chains. The strong bond of chain, called intermolecular forces, makes cotton tough so that it can be strung into textiles for clothes we can wear. Before cotton is turned into denim, it is picked from the fields. After the cotton is picked, it is transported to the cotton gin that separates the cotton fiber from seeds, leaves, and other plant parts that are mixed in the raw cotton. Later, after cleaning and drying the cotton, the cotton is sent to be spun into yarn. The cotton goes through a machine called the DK760. This machine puts the cotton through the process of carving. The machine untangles the raw cotton fiber by pulling and combining the cotton. The cotton becomes stretched and forms into a thick strand known as a sliver. The cotton slivers are then spun into threads of yarn. Like this? <laughs> but how does this become denim jeans? What? Indigo dye must be applied to the cotton threads of yarn. Indigo's first major center of production was in India. Indigo was highly valued and mainly used as a dye. Indigo dye is one of the oldest used to dye textiles. Throughout history, the production and the indigo dye itself has changed and is now easier and less expensive to make. Indigo can be produced naturally or synthetically. Historically, indigo, which is an organic compound, was extracted from the plants called indigo ferra. Today, most indigo dyes are synthetically made. The chemical company BASF invented the first synthetic dye. The many different processes in making the synthetic dye all involve combining a series of chemical reactions under controlled conditions. Synthetic indigo is derived from laboratories through chemical processes. These reactants undergo many reactions that result in formatting indigo molecules. These procedures are all done inside a stainless steel or glass vessel. These vessels are jackets which allow steam or water to flow around the batch as the reaction is occurring. The complexity of this product usually forces many producers of indigo to make the synthetic indigo in large batches. Chemicals used in producing synthetic indigo pigment and throughout the manufacturing process include alanine, sulfur, sodium hydroxide, hydrosulfate, and formaldehyde. The average amount of indigo used in a pair of jeans is 3 to 12 grams. Well that tells us what indigo is, but what about the blue jeans? 
Okay, so now we have the threads of yarn and the indigo dye. The yarn goes through a continuous running machine called the range. The cotton yarn feeds into the dyeing section dipping in and out of the colorful yellow indigo dye. What do you mean yellow? The pants are called blue jeans for a reason. Cause they are blue. The dye is yellow because the indigo is not water soluble. So it needs to be mixed with a reducing agent like sodium hydrogen sulfate, which turns the dye yellow. The chemical reaction allows the dye to stick to the yarn. At first, the rope will appear yellow after dipping it into the liquid. The rope will eventually turn the famous indigo blue as the dye reacts to the oxygen in the air. After the dye is applied, the range then washes the threads in warm water and neutralizes them with mild acids such as acidic or citric. Finally, they strengthen the yarn with cornstarch before it goes off to get woven into denim. Weaving denim involves the combination of white and indigo blue thread. Cotton is fed into a loom and is blended with one white thread to every three blue threads. The typical pair of pants with five pockets usually uses 15 pieces of cloth. Each pair of jeans needs 1.6 meters of denim, several hundred meters of thread, six rivets, and one zipper. To make jeans look distressed, the jeans are sanded to create worn looks. Jeans are frayed on the edges and stained with sprays. Using a laser gun and tossing jeans into giant washing machines with rocks are also ways that are used to create the distressed look. After all of this, the jeans are then pressed and ready to be shipped off to the stores.